step number four which is the last step if your machines always cut thread is because the upper tension is too tight this is the upper tension this thing here is too tight all right because the thread pass through it so if it is too tight your thread will always cut if your needle is not well set your thread will always cut this is the needle so learn how to set the needle watch all the four step of this very video we have taught you how to set needle so watch the video those are some of the reasons why your machine cut thread and Another reason is because if this hole is not round, if it has, it has broken the machine, the machine plate or the needle plate has broken, so this very rough place can also cut your needle. And if you do not thread your machine, the, the thread, if you don't fix the thread properly or the thread mistakenly hangs somewhere here, I didn't notice it. So your, uh, the thread can also what, can also cut. Can you see that? And it may mistakenly hang in this very place twice or three times so those are the possible causes of your needle uh, thread cutting okay yes and sometimes the thread can be breaking dividing into two or more pieces yes it's all because your th some threads are faulty from the factory itself okay if it does that you to be pieces like this some thread to pieces just like rough pieces the way this one looks like good so sometimes it's because the thread is faulty from the company or the same needle is not well set so set your needle properly those are the possible causes of your uh, what do you call it your thread cutting all the time okay and what i'm going to show you is the oiling of your machine which of the oil is recommended this is the oil go to where the set sewing machines part and you're going to buy industrial sewing machines oil not this very one this is a different oil okay yes so this very one is the one you are buying at either 3000 or 25 currently in nigeria the year 2024 october okay very good so now if you haven't seen how we oil flatbed leather sewing machine that you're going to see today can you see we turn one liter of oil completely this one liter of oil the measure so the oil is not always filled up it stops somewhere here so don't think they must fill it completely for you no it is normal all over nigeria the oil stops somewhere on this mark and i don't know why they make the produce such a big container so it has been like that since i started no sewing machine so it is the one liter of oil pour in this very place that's how we put the oil all right yes we don't put it little by little drop like the way you do for your butterfly singer and email black sewing machine no this oil one liter of it you pour it over here okay yes the machine will be packing it by itself because they have what is distributing these are the oil distributors yes this is a filter it filter dirty away and then the distributor these are the pipe they are taking the oil we have some all right can we see you see these ropes here their function is to be packing the oil distributing over to the body of the machine to the necessary places so you don't need to stress yourself so it is always here so when the oil finish maybe it will finish to somewhere here on this level they need to go and buy new one so a year you can put like once or two times in a one in a year one year all right yes it can just be once in a year or two times depending on how you use the machine so if you're using a machine one year you can highest two times two times highest two times okay yes can you see that yes so that does it how to oil the machine it's pretty simple and easy but the way we oil cylinder bed sewing machine is different the way we oil post bed is different post bed and cylinder bed we use what we call grease grease is a stick substance it looks like um like a pap like a pap okay yes like a thick custard the way you prepare your custard so grease is something like that so you fetch a little quantity of it and then you pour it on some position on the cylinder bed so you learn that on the master's class we are on the master's class you're going to see how we oil those machines it's on the master's class so you can whatsapp me message me on whatsapp to join the master's class so we are basically teachers that is what we do for a living please so don't blame us okay that is where god placed us to be teaching all these things and that is just the business we are doing and to adjust the speed, your machine is super fast. Maybe for those of you that are using the, what do you call the clutch motor, so maybe you don't know how to control it. So to control this clutch motor is depending on how you match your pedal. So you have to match your pedal softly. So if you match it softly, you turn the hand wheel here softly and then your speed can be going slowly. All right. So, but if you match it completely, it will be, the speed will be too much fast for you. All right. Yes. So you can control the speed. You can uh, adjust the speed. By what losing can you see this knot yes you're gonna learn it from our youtube channel so search our videos on youtube channel you're gonna see how to reduce the speed of industrial sewing machine all right
If you want to learn how to use the crown, will deliver to you wherever you live. So the last summary here is that if the thread is jamming under, all right, if your thread is jamming under like this, the problem is from the upper tension. And if the thread is jamming at the top, the problem is from the lower tension. So watch all the videos from step one to step four. All right, yes. So if you have any question, you can reach out to me on WhatsApp. All right, yes, this is my WhatsApp contact screenshot so you can, you can reach out to me on WhatsApp, okay? Here's the contact. And then this is my YouTube channel. So please share the video, share the videos with your loved ones and God bless you from High Level of Grace HLG. Bye.